Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sprite One Four Five's incredibly I don't know what. I don't know how to describe my RTC, but welcome back to my RTC. I'm gonna deliver you another two games. There these first four, so the previous episode and this episode, were both all done on the same server, which is just a TDM server. Try and mix it up as much as possible, only playing game modes that I'm comfortable with, but then again I will mix it up. Won't necessarily do free for all because I fucking hate free for all. I'm trying to stick away from the Nuketown 24/7 servers because they're no fun. Um, unless, of course, I'm trying to go for a pro perk such as Marathon or Flat Jacket. Maybe Tactical Mask for the um, Nova Gas. Uh, Flat Jacket would be 24/7 uh, demolition on Nuketown with just the plants and so forth. Um, same with um, Marathon and Capture the Flag. All I know is I've practically run out of hard drive space at this moment in time with the epi number of episodes I've recorded. But I'm aiming to chuck out a couple of episodes in quick succession now that I've got time on my hands because I'm injured to the point of not really being able to play cricket at all. I Yesterday, which was a Sunday, I don't actually know when this commentary will go up, hopefully on a day of recording, which is a Monday. So yesterday I um, kind of got a nice nice graze on my right arm, all the way up to my elbow, which um, prohibits me from holding a bat properly, which doesn't let me bowl properly, just frustrating. But oh well. <laughs> and I've had a continual back injury recently, it was just, just bugging me, so I'm just taking two weeks off cricket, just to catch up on some RTC, to hopefully get Nuke 250 out of the way as well. I want to do it on a weekend, just because it's more convenient for everyone. I want it to, to, be, to be done in my time, not what's convenient for everyone else. I will be accepting requests for Nuke 250, as of this vi this video, we will say there are six spaces available um, because there's Aegis, Aeris, and myself. For um, so we say six spaces available, and I'm going to half be a picker and a chooser. I would honestly like you to message me either on Steam or on YouTube and just say, hey, Sprite, whatever, um, could I join you on Nuke 250? Um, I would like to be doing, I would be, I would have this role when I'm playing. So for example, Slayer, Flag Capturer, um, Air Support Person Guy, you know. I mean, we'll all be on Skype, so we can swap, or TeamSpeak actually. Actually, I might have to say there's only five slots available because I think Rylet would want to be in the, um, the yeah, lobby if I'm going to be using his team speak. I'll have to speak to him. And the next video I upload after this one will be confirming team speak or sky. Um, and I'm going to say it is a requirement to have them. That was a nice stab there. It's a fucking good stab. It is a requirement to have them, so if you are going to um, be joining the um, the lobby, I would, idealistically, big word, I know, like you to have both Skype and TeamSpeak, because I'm a fussy fucker, and I don't know how that guy killed me, or how he even knew I was in the corner, but oh well. That's Black Ops for you. And... This is generally the class I run early in the prestige. Just I don't buy weapons or classes until about um, level eight or nine. Even then, ten or eleven sometimes. Um, I've got a lot of wager matches in this prestige as well, just because they've changed the PC format for wager matches now, which I I like a lot. And um, the only question is, do you want me to upload wager matches, or would you just prefer 
ranked XP gaining gameplay rather than wager matches that could take up time. And I got completely outplayed there by a pro elite corner camp. But oh well, so yeah. So far we've covered Nuke 250, we've covered wager matches. Honestly, it would do me a great service to not upload wager matches because they don't gain me XP, it's just gaining COD points and well, you know what, COD points aren't all that interesting. Um, and I think here I'm just looking around for an enemy UAV. But then I realised I'm only like level 4, so I haven't unlocked challenges yet, so I can't work on getting hardened pro. Which made me a sad panda. <laughs> but, you know what. Screw it. Now this, I will ruin it now, is my last good game of this server. This guy got stabbed! Ninja stab. Um, the next game is full of fucking tryhards. I don't think I even get a spy plane in it. Um, it is just full of FAMAS 74U and I think it's on a crap map as well. It just doesn't do me any favours with perks that aren't my own. Well not aren't my own, just I don't use very often. No? My leg's gone numb. Just thought I'd share that with you, you know? My leg's numb. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Um, but this match is slowly winding down. Next one, we will, um, you know, commentate on. I can't remember what it is. I've, I've recorded this quite a while ago. All I know is that this is one of the best spots for an M16. Just I don't know how we spun so many bullets. I thought I got the kill count there. I honestly did, after the number of hit markers I got. But that gameplay was probably one of my best. 19-2, 9.5 kill to death ratio. And he got 74 U'd. So now I'm like level 6, I unlock challenges, I unlock contracts. I've already unlocked challenges? Maybe that's why I was looking for the spy plane. So, here we are, welcome to game 2. I'm not going to do this for every wage every wager match, what am I talking about, every single gameplay just because um, um, sometimes I will do two games in one commentary, sometimes I won't and yeah, I'm just telling Aegis, I started my RTC, it's yeah. see it, it's just full of bunny hoppers and Fags. Uh, I was going to change class or change team, one or the other, but I don't think I've done that yet. It's the only way I'm going to kill people, pick up their own gun, stab in the face. So it's unbelievable, that guy. He's just such a fucking wanker. I only use the 74U for capture the flag, that's about it. Then I won't use it again. Cause everyone uses the 74U and capture the flag, so what's the point in me doing anything different? Everyone uses the 74U in pretty much every map there is, but I'm better than that. I like the Galil quite a bit and the Commando. And here's me thinking I've got stun grenades, but nope. Herp a derp, I've got smoke grenades or the Willy Peat. Why the fuck they named it? Willy Pete, I don't know. And how did my knife not kill him? And how did he know I was in the corner? Why did he come around looking that way? Enemy gun inbound. This point, I think, well, I can salvage a gameplay out of this. But it doesn't really matter because I've got to upload every game I fucking play. Wager matches may be included. Oh, my elbow kills! Oh, I like this guy's AKE man. I don't really use the AK very much because it's just not a gun for me I do honestly prefer the commando and what other guns do I like? commando, the stoner 
Um, not the M16. Famas to a degree, but nah. It's not my favourite. The ray gun, but that's zombies. Um, you know. That's that's actually kickable on my server. Fags that bunny hop and whatnot. Just it's a kickable offence because I hate it. And my rules aren't too excessive. I think there's no second chance, no explosive spams, noob tubes, RPGs, and China Lake are kickable, if not bannable. I'm not sure. Um, the you the triple capping is frowned upon, but not banned. Um, we ask that people don't use the 74U or the M60 on Nuketown. We also ask that respect the fucking admins. There's one. I don't think I win a single gunfight with my M16. I really don't. I don't win any gunfights with my own guns. I have to knife them or lob a grenade at them. Oh, I won a gunfight. My bad. There's some legit dolphin diving. You'll see a lot of that less prestige. I don't know what Treyarch did with the knife, but that that hit him. One way or another, that should have hit him. So, I'm not going to say Treyarch blow me, because this game isn't as bad as it's made out to be. This game included a report feature from the very beginning, so hackers and whatnot can, um, be reported, unlike Modern Warfare 2 where they only implemented it not that long ago. Here's me going, well I'm going to change class, but that doesn't work on. I might be called for dinner, so I'm going to have to yell in a second. But dinner's not for another 10 minutes, I don't know what's going on. And how long's left of this gameplay, because honest to god, about three and a half minutes. Wow. Oh my days, this game's just... This this particular server pissed me off. Um, there'll be a couple of servers that I rage quit from, and you'll see that. And it is mostly because they're either hardcore, and I try and stick away from hardcore unless I'm going for Scout Pro. You'll see why when I decide to go for Scout Pro. Um, what else is there why I don't like? Oh, and bare bones. Servers that don't say they're hardcore or don't say that they're bare bones. Interesting. They, that, because I joined them thinking, oh, this is going to be fun. Just a regular server. And no, nope, it's a bare bones or it's a um, hardcore, and they don't say. And that really gets up my tits. Gets on my tits, whatever. I don't actually have tits, but you know, just an expression. Ugh. I was having so many FPS issues this game anyway, so... I think that's generally how long I stick around for in the game anyway, about four or five matches in the server. And then I'm out of here, and then I'll go buy some guns, upgrade my contracts. You know, same shit. Oh dear me. I don't like doing 15 20 minute commentaries. So I probably won't do this too often. I'll try and stick to six, seven minute games together rather than um, like two eight and a half minute games together. Well, the first game was only six minutes. This game was probably a bit longer than that, about seven or eight, maybe even nine. Cause this, this grid some reason it was going really slow this game. I don't even know why. Grids. I don't think any of the Treyarch maps are really slow paced like Derail was, is. I didn't believe this kid when he killed me there. And I actually start raging because um, 
It just got to that point. It's like... I, I just hate it. it. It pisses me off sometimes. Just Can't people just use a different gun? And yes, okay. Jeez, we're coming. See what I mean about having to shout? I'm very sorry about that. Dinner is early, and I don't like dinner when it's early because you know, dinner the, the day. Dinner is at six o'clock. It is ten minutes to six. And I actually got a kill streak. So I'm very surprised. Um, so I do apologise for the screaming and the shouting, but for some reason dinner is early and I hate dinner early as I've said. Because I, I started this commentary with plenty of time left, I'd be finished in about two minutes, and you know... Dinner is at least five minutes early, so you can see... And here's me just... I'm okay with the AK-47, it's just a 74 year in a FAMAS that I hate. People say the Galea is a tryhard gun, but I don't think so. And there's another tryhard, probably with rapid fire or a grip. Maybe even dual mags. I kind of started liking dual mags. Dual? Dual? I don't really know. D yeah, dual mag attachment. Because it isn't really that overpowered. But here we are, 12 for 20, it's Sprout 1 for 5. I'm going to go to dinner early because apparently I'm going to get told off if I don't, so Sprout 1 for 5. Wishing you a good day, and then peace.